Hi, I'm Mark Fulton with Cystic Customer Success. Today we'll learn about sharing dashboards and groupings in Cystic Monitor. Cystic Monitor has a wealth of sharing options for both dashboards and groupings as well as panels themselves. Let's explore and take a look at some of these. So in our first video, we understood how we can slice and dice our environment into different groupings. Let's take one of the out-of-the-box groupings and then perform a customization on it. So here, um, let's change this, for example, to the Cloud Provider Availability Zone. And now you can see that because we've made an adjustment to the built-in grouping, this uh, grouping menu here has switched over to new grouping. So this presents us with an option to do a save. So we're going to save this off. Um, and the reason I wanted to do that was simply just to show a couple of other um, uh, actions that we can take um, based on our uh, grouping that we've defined here. And you can see that groupings themselves are split into two different categories. We have my groupings listed at the top and we also have shared groupings at the bottom that other users or colleagues have, have shared with me that are situated uh, on the same Cystic team of users. So if we see what actions are available, you can see that we can copy the grouping, um, we can edit or rename the grouping, uh, and we can share the grouping itself. So sharing with other team members is, is as simple as enabling this. And then you can see that it's displaying the team that you are logged in as or that you are a member of here. Um, so you just, you just simply enable this option. You can see there's a mouse over here that also explains the feature um, and hit close and then other team members as soon as they log in they will also see uh, in uh, under their shared groupings here they will see that particular grouping uh, appear there as well so great use case if you have a grouping created um, that you think other team members would also be able to benefit from Um, the grouping itself can be unshared at any time by going back into the menu and then simply unchecking it to share. What about a few other sharing options? Let's take a look here as well. Panels themselves have a couple of different options for copying on. This is more sort of copying a panel from one dashboard to the other. And so you can see that actually this is another method for creating a new dashboard. You can um, type in a dashboard name here that doesn't exist and it will copy the panel to a brand new dashboard. Or you can select an existing dashboard here and the panel will be copied to that dashboard in question. Great way then of um, copying a panel that from somewhere else within Cystic that you might think, oh, this, this would be useful to use elsewhere. Likewise, um, you can actually copy the entire view using the breadcrumbs here um, to, again, an existing dashboard or defining a new dashboard. Moving on into dashboards themselves. Again, looking here at the left, you can see that some dashboard sharing has been happening within the, the Cystic team that I'm a member of. Um, I can see other users' dashboards from within the same team listed here. And you can see that I'm already going, I'm already sharing an existing dashboard. So how do we do that? Again, we're going to use the breadcrumb trail here and then the share menu. And then we're going to use the share with team option. And this is going to work in a very similar way to sharing a grouping. We just enable that. And then you can see that the dashboard has now moved into my shared dashboards. We have a further sharing option though, which is very useful if we want to give non-Cystig users access to a read-only version of the dashboard. And that is sharing with a public URL here. So the, the benefit of this is that this is a permalink to the dashboard. And if we just navigate into a new tab, you'll see that if we load up this dashboard, you can see that um, it's pretty much a read-only copy of it. Uh, and 
there's there's minimal sort of interaction that can be done, but those mouse overs do continue to work. Yeah, and you can also switch the time on the bottom here using the time scale. Great use case of this is in an ops center, um, where, for example, you might have several flat panel displays, and you could display, you know, different dashboards on each display. So moving back here, um, you can again disable this at any time. And every time you re-enable this share public URL, the URL will change. So that's also just uh, an important point to note there. So that just about wraps it up for now. Thanks for watching this video on sharing groupings and dashboards.